So, yeah, it's true. Some guy actually got GTA 5 early and started streaming it on Twitch over his PS4 little PS4 stream thing. Anyways, he showcased a lot of the cool things, so I compiled a list and I want to talk about them. So, let's go. So, before we begin, I know there's going to be a lot of comments saying, how did this guy get his game? I assume some store just made a mistake and sent him his copy early, so that's probably how he got it early. So, yeah, anyways, about this dude. He's some dude living in Europe. He never played GTA 5 on the previous generation, so he didn't really know exactly what he was doing. But the chat actually told him to do a couple cool things. And uh, he showed off a lot of the really new things in GTA 5, which was a really cool scene. So this guy was streaming for a good half an hour. I'm going to try to find someone who recorded the stream somewhere, and I'll put a link in the description if I find it, uh, but no promises for that. If not, I will put a link to his Twitch down below, uh, because he said he may or may not be streaming again tonight. So yeah, anyways, let's jump into the things that he showed off in GTA 5 next gen. So recently announced was the new first person mode for GTA 5 and oh boy it is so cool just running around the map. Like he was running around the map just shooting people and stuff and like driving his car. That was cool. He went into this store, robbed it and then just ran out and the cops were on him right? And he's in first person just running away just running through these fields and like you see this dog with like its family on its side and like he's running and running. It was That was the coolest thing to me not the crazy driving just running through this open field and seeing all the finer details of the world, it was really, really cool. Speaking about the driving though, he actually showed off some of the really cool driving stuff. He was just driving these cars like crazy. He was pulling off these flips and stuff. And yeah, GTA driving, first person at least, looks hella, hella cool. As well as the shooting, he went and shot a whole bunch of cops. He went and shot up a gas station and stuff like that. And again, looked really, really, really cool in first person. The Twitch stream then wanted to see how the car density is, because if, you, if you've seen the trailers for GTA 5 Next Gen, you would have seen there are a hell of a lot of cars around the map, and he went and showed it off, and there's a lot of cars. Not so much in, like, the outskirts of the town, like, up north. There's not too many cars up there, but when you get into the city, oh boy, there are a hell of a lot of cars. There are going to be a lot of accidents, and uh, th something I want to do, grenade... Bang, 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 fire was going off in the streets. Everywhere. There's a lot of cars. Another thing that I noticed that was really, really cool were the water graphics. He went swimming for like a good 10 minutes. I, I don't think he really knew what he was doing. But he went swimming, and the water graphics look insane. I don't think they even specifically mentioned updating them, but they did. And they look really, really good. As well as the whole underwater stuff, the amount of stuff underwater now is insane. I thought it was a lot for GTA 5 on the Xbox 360. But if you see it on the Xbox One, the amount of stuff is just insane. The amount of, like, little fish and the amount of, like, little growy underwater plant stuff. It's really, really cool. That's basically it for what he showed off during his stream. That's basically, like, the main important stuff. A lot of the time he was spent just running around the map, basically not really knowing what he was doing. But, um, like I said, if I do find a link to the stream, I'll put it in the description down below. But anyways, there was one more thing that I wanted to talk about. During the GTA V first-person trailer, there was a scene where the player, I believe it was Franklin was driving up to the airport with cops on him. I, now, I don't know if this was a mission or not, but he was driving through the airport with cops on him, and you see a plane land. It comes in for a landing. And I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys... Is, is it a mission, first of all? And also, do you think planes will be able to land in GTA 5? Because I, I don't really know if it's a mission or not, right? There's a whole bunch of new missions, a whole bunch of new heists, but based on, like, the HUD and everything, it didn't seem like he was in a mission. So, I don't, I don't know. Maybe planes could land now and you could do the old GTA 4 thing where you could just mess around with the planes on the on the tarmac and stuff, which would, be pretty, which would be pretty cool. Anyways, that is all of the news for GTA 5 Next Gen right now. If this guy does anything else that's like super, super crazy with his game, uh, I will be sure to update you guys. But uh, he may or may not get console banned, so I don't really know. His Twitch may get banned, something may get banned somewhere, and he may not be able to stream anymore. But uh, yeah, I, I do believe he just got his game sent to him early and he didn't really know what he was doing and he just pressed stream and he sort of just went with it and stuff. So uh, like I said, if I could find the stream, link down below, I'll link to his Twitch page and you guys can check him out. Pretty cool stuff. I cannot wait for next week. It is going to be so cool. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box. Also, don't forget to share it around with your friends and let them know GTA 5 Next Gen has a first person mode. A lot of people, surprisingly, still don't know. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one.